You know what day it is, guys. You know what day it is. It is Wednesday. So it is Vehicle Wednesday and welcome back everybody. Today we are revealing a brand new vehicle and I'm super excited about this vehicle today because I put a lot of work into it. I had a seven hour live stream on my second channel. Let me know if you came to that uh, live stream in the comment section below. But today this vehicle is probably one of the most epic vehicles that I've added in to this mod. Listen to me right now, listen to me right now, right? Nobody wants 0.8.1 version of the mod. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Right? We're all about 0 0.9, 0 0.9.0 of this mod because this mod, well this update is going to be one of the best updates I've published so far. So sit back, relax and enjoy this video today as we reveal the brand new vehicle. Boom, let's get into this right now. Alrighty, so we're gonna go ahead and head over to the garage. Now, I should mention that we are gonna be checking out a bunch of other changes in the mod as well, so do not worry, it's not just a vehicle reveal. There's a bunch of new additions to the vehicle mod um, in, this video to, in this video today. So let's go ahead, let's take the go-kart over there. Super duper fast go-kart, holy shoot, that was fast. That was so fast. All right, here we are guys at the garage. Now, if you guys are excited for this, make sure you go ahead and snap that like button right in half if you love Vehicle Wednesday. And uh, make sure you subscribe as well so you get updated every time I post a brand new reveal of vehicle. But let's go ahead, let's reveal this new vehicle in three, two, one, kaboom! And hold on. Hold on. Crayfish. That is not a vehicle. You would be correct. You would be correct. This is just a traffic cone. All right, you got me guys. I lied. I lied, okay. <laughs> I just really miss revealing vehicles because last week we didn't reveal a vehicle and this week we're unfortunately not revealing another vehicle. And that is because I wanted to do some more improvements on the vehicle mod. So let's take this back to zero to 100 right now. So this here, is the cone and this has some very special properties about it so it is basically a cone that can actually stop traffic so if we actually placed some cones like this across the road here uh oh um what is that okay that was uh <laughs> i think there's an armor stand right there i think there's an armor stand there but if we actually place them across the road here we get into our go-kart here You'll see that if you actually try to drive into it, we can't actually get past these traffic cones. So these cones are very useful if you are wanting to create like, you know, an, you know a little bit of an obstacle on a road or if you want to block a road off. And maybe you want to stop vehicles getting into a certain area. You could do something like this, for instance, at the, um, at the car park here and actually block people or block vehicles from actually getting inside of the car park. Maybe it's under maintenance or something like that. Now, it doesn't stop there. This cone goes one step further. So, uh, if you actually hover over the item here, you'll see that we can actually hold shift to see some info about it. And if you actually read the second sentence, it says it can also be used as a hat. So, if you wanted to, you can actually put this cone on top of your head like so, and um, use it as a hat. Now we might actually go ahead and we'll turn off our, um, off our, off our crown here, so it actually works a little bit better. But have a look at this. <laughs> we got a cone on our head. Now, now if you don't know, traffic cones are sometimes referred to as witches hats. And uh, that's why um, you know I'm wearing it on my head here because it looks like a witch hat. However, it is just a regular traffic cone. So <laughs> this is the new meme, guys. This is the new meme: traffic cones on top of your head. How amazing is that? <laughs> if you guys love the vehicle mod, make sure you get one of these cones and uh, put it on top of your head because these are absolutely amazing and uh, it looks so cool. Alrighty, so. That is the uh, kind of only addition in the vehicle mod this week. What we're going to do is actually check out some of the changes that have happened. And uh, one you might actually notice straight off the bat here, if you're actually very, if you've got sharp eyes, if you've got sharp eyes, you might actually notice on the back of the go-kart, um, you'll see smoke actually coming from the engine. So engines will actually emit smoke now, which is a uh, really cool um, feature so as you can see smoke coming out the back and the same applies as well 
for the mini bike. So if we go ahead and we would just get a uh, mini bike here real quickly and we hop on it, you'll see that actually under it uh, there's actually some smoke emitting from it. So it's just a cool little uh, extra feature about aesthetic. It's more of like an aesthetic feature for vehicles, but um, you can actually see a trail of the smoke behind. Oh, is that Sir Piggles? No, it's not. I, I, every pig I see, I think it's Sir Piggles. If you guys know where Sir Piggles is, please do let me know. Uh oh, we got a bit of a roadblock here because we've actually got a new petrol station in town. It's a it's a it's a gas station. If we have a look at the sign here, have a look at this. Have a look at this, guys. Cray gas. We built this in the live stream last weekend, and eventually. This will be our refueling point for the vehicle mod and we'll be able to fuel up these vehicles using some gas pumps. Um, that's what I hope to add into this mod. But if you actually take a look um, on the trail of the vehicle here, you can actually see it. Let's go to somewhere where it's a little bit more open. Uh, there's a lot of trees around here. Uh, let's go this way. Here we go. So if you actually look behind the vehicle, you can actually see uh, the smoke now. It's a little bit hard to see in this kind of grass here, but maybe we'll go over to somewhere. Let's go on to this actual redstone patch over the redstone area, and you'll see behind that there is like a little smoke trail when you actually ride, which is really cool. Now another change with actual particles is that particles will only show now if you're on a material that isn't kind of like hard. So if you're driving on stone, or like hardened clay or something like that particles will not show because it is a hard ground it will only show on kind of um, grounds like dirt sand uh, grass uh, wool because um, normally you wouldn't drive on top of wool but if you actually drive on the um, the sidewalk here you'll see there is actually no particles coming from the floor if we go to the actual um, if we go on to the uh, wool here you actually see particles coming off from the wheel below it. So that's another kind of aesthetic change uh, that has happened to the vehicles. It might be hard to see because we're putting black on black here when we're actually driving over the wall. Um, but it's a, it's a little change. Yeah, here we do this, let's do this. So if we actually drift here, you can see a lot of particles coming off uh, from drifting there. But if we actually drift um, on the actual pay on the sidewalk here, you'll see no particles actually coming off. So. That's a change about that vehicle. All right, so we're gonna grab a different vehicle here. I just wanna take the ATV out for a spin. Haven't taken this one out for a while, to be honest. Have not taken this one out for a while, but we've got another exciting change as well. So, um, actually, this is a new feature. This is actually a new feature. So, new feature hype right now. Uh, this is a working horn. So, finally, vehicles actually have a horn in them. And, and you guessed it. You press the letter H to press the horn. <laughs> so, <laughs> honestly, it's not the best sound, but I'm actually going to be improving it in the future, but... <laughs> oh, they're not going to like me. Hey, military base! Hey there, Mr. Cow. How you doing? Get out of the way! Get out of the way, Mr. Cow! He's not listening, guys. He's not listening. We only have one option. Run him over! <laughs> now this next change is for those more technical players out there, but I'm sure all you guys that are watching my channel are the most advanced and experienced players in the game well I hope so well you're gonna be experienced after watching this because you're actually gonna you're actually gonna be able to change the acceleration speed of vehicles using commands so if we actually go up to this uh, mini bike here and we'll go ahead and give it a little bit of a test ride here you can see that the acceleration speed is a little bit slow on it um, and that's because of the uh, engine type it doesn't actually increase the speed or it doesn't multiply the acceleration by that much but if we actually go ahead and we stand near here and what we're going to do is do entity data at e r equals 2 so we can actually read so we can actually um, apply this entity data to it and then we go here and we type in excel acceleration speed and we do 2f um, there we go it's actually going to apply um, a new 
um, acceleration speed. So the default is 0.5 F, so that basically means half a block a second. Now we're actually going to be accelerating at two blocks per second. Um, so it's a lot, lot faster now. So if we actually go ahead and we start driving, you can see that the acceleration on this vehicle is so much faster. We can also change the max speed around if you really want to as well. So let's do that right now. Let's change the um, acceleration speed and also let's change around the max speed to, to like maybe like 30 to 30F or something like that. Alright, so this is going to be a very fast vehicle now. Whoa, yeah, this thing is, this thing's booging it along, guys. This thing is going super duper fast. So if you guys have ever wanted to override the properties of vehicles, you can actually do them. Obviously, this is only if you are in creative mode or you have OP permissions. Uh, but it's something that you can do. Maybe you're a map creator or something like that and you you want to kind of create your own custom properties for vehicles. You can actually do it um, using the NPT tag compound. And I will put a list of the uh, tags you can change in the description below just in case you guys are wanting, wanting to go that one step further and um, actually change them around yourself. And finally, the last change we are looking at here is a very, very small one, but go-karts now can't actually go up blocks. So this means if we actually take this go-kart around the track, we're actually not going to go up onto the edge anymore, which is really good. Oh, there we go. We got stuck by the traffic cones, uh, which is really good because before we're actually like going outside of the um, the course a lot. Now we can actually go kind of like full speed. Uh oh, there we go. Hit the traffic cones. Uh, we can actually take this thing full speed and not go up on the edges here, which is really, really nice. So, oh, this is very difficult now. Now that you cannot, you can't actually go over the um, traffic cones. Um, that uh, extra height on those traffic cones stops you from actually going over them. God dang it, my camera went flat, guys. Sorry about that, but that is going to end off. God dang it, my camera went flat, but that is actually going to end off this video today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Now, you can actually go ahead and download this update right now. So link in the description below, go download it. Go share me some screenshots of you playing with this brand new update. I know it's not like a new vehicle, but next week I promise I'm gonna add a new vehicle into this mod because I miss doing it and that's why I wanted to do a vehicle reveal so bad today in this video, but had to reveal a cone instead. I had to reveal a cone instead. So if you enjoyed this video today, make sure you remember to go ahead and snap that like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys later for some more epic videos. Peace out, my dudes.